What's up, everybody? Charlie Marlowe here. Got to jump on and talk about this big breaking news, surprising news, to me at least, but I guess with the Cardinals, should we really be that surprised? The announcement, I just saw the official tweet or X post, whatever you want to call it, Cardinals extending manager Ali Marmol for two years through the 2026 season. This was the last year he's under contract, so he's in theory, or he was, a lame duck manager. I don't like this move. I'm not going to go crazy about it, but I don't like this move, and here's why. Why Why did you have to do this? Where, where was the sense of urgency to do this? To me, this is a prove-it season for Ali Marmol, and it should be. And I'm, I'm very neutral on Ali Marmol, as I think I should be. And everybody should be. He had a nice first season, 93 wins. He had an awful second season, 91 losses. He had the contract. This is his last year. Seems pretty fair to me to prove it, to have to prove it, and then get your contract extension. So... I don't, I don't love this move, and that's nothing against Ali. I don't know if Ali will be a good manager or a great manager or not, but nobody does. But it's fair to say the Cardinals think he's their guy, want him to be their guy, don't blame him for what happened in 2023, and think he's the right man for the job for at least the next couple of years. And I think another another part of this, and by the way, Again, I have not watched the press conference or listened to it yet. I know Bill DeWitt's there, John Mosellock, Ali, and I'm sure they all spoke. And so after I watch that, I may update my comments. But as I, as I saw the news and I'm thinking about why, why you do this, first of all, the Cardinals, I feel like they, they kind of always do this. They did this with Matt Carpenter, you know, giving these extensions before they have to. Another thing is this is no disrespect to Ali, but... Ali is not this Hall of Fame manager with all these uh, all, all these notches on his belt of, of World Series and whatnot. Whereas, oh, he can't be a lame duck or he's going to go somewhere else. No, he, he's a young manager. He could be really good, but I just I just don't I don't get it. But here's where, as I'm thinking about it, why why it probably makes sense to the Cardinals, especially even if I disagree with this. Think about the the eventual transfer of power in this organization, where earlier this spring, John Mosellock said he still plans to step out of his role as president of baseball operations here after, what, 2025. So this is essentially, if that stays true, this is the last couple years of John Mosellock's reign as the, as the chief decision maker for the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, overall, John Mosellock has been really good. We know there's been a downward trend the last five years or so, and, and certainly it's not the same team that we saw from 11 to 15. But I do think overall, John Mosellock has done a very good job. And if you look at it from this standpoint, if John Mosellock has two more years as the president of baseball operations and Bill DeWitt Jr. trusts him, which he does, we all know that, then John Mosellock is able to go out with his guy. And if Ali is his guy, I understand why Mo is saying, look, I've been in this organization for a long time, pushing 30 years in this current role. What is it? I feel like it's since I've been here. So that's 16, 17 years, whatever it is. So I understand the thinking of if you're going to allow John Mosellock to go out in two years, you let him do it with his guy. And it sure seems like Ali Marmol is his guy. What do you guys think of that, of my take, of that logic? And just, look, when this when this news came down, I go, okay, what could it be? You know, a Goldie extension, although if you look into that, if they, if they were to give him a, a substantial pay cut, you can't do that to veterans with his status, so it would have to be as a free agent. So that's kind of something that's a little more difficult you're thinking could it be one of those young guys where you you buy out their arbitration years and a couple free agent years like a large new bar i know he's hurt but so i saw ollie and again it didn't super shock me 
because the Cardinals are so conservative in their approach. They don't do anything rash whatsoever. Even last year, I said, look, if, if the Cardinals would have fired Ali Marmol last season or after the season, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's something that, that couldn't have happened. I'm not saying they 100% should have done that, but it was a terrible season. We haven't had a season like that in freaking what, 20, 25 years, whatever it is. So this isn't super surprising, but, but I don't like the move because I just think it's fair for Ali Marmol to prove it this year. And by the way, even if they start out 500 after a, a tough early schedule and it's getting close to the all-star break and things are looking good, sign him to the extension then. I, I just I don't understand the urgency to do it now before we've even played a game. I also I just I don't think he deserves the extension right now. And I just want to reiterate, that's not a knock on Ali Marmol whatsoever. One really good year, one really bad year. Okay, this is the prove it year. Have a nice season, do it again, get your contract extension. So we shall see. I don't know. I, I think Ali Marmol is a bright guy, really good communicator, good baseball guy. I, I like the way he speaks with the media and explains things. I've said a million times, I I didn't think last year at all that he handled the Tyler O'Neill thing well whatsoever. I just I saw zero value to calling him out publicly like that. And and then listen to listen to Tyler after the fact. Look, the relationship was was irreparable. Is that the way to say it? Or irreparable? Irreparable after that. I just I thought that was dumb. I and that's by the way, if you say Tyler O'Neill was loafing and he was running 93%, I get that. I thought there was zero value to calling out, by the way, calling out the dude's effort. That's different. That's different than saying, hey, you gotta execute, you gotta be better. Calling out a dude's effort is essentially calling out an athlete's manhood, right? That was different to me. I'm trying to get this to be straight. Okay, there we go. So anyway, I feel like we always get back into the Tyler O'Neill thing, but uh, I, I do think that was a big miss by, by Ali. I thought that was unnecessary last year. Um, also, I think some of the, some of the soft contact stuff I, I heard a lot last year, I felt like that was excuse making. And that, that, that comes from the manager down. It was a lot of the pitchers too, but I heard a lot of that from Ollie, which some of that's true, but also I don't think the fan base loves hearing that when you're having a terrible season, but you can have bad luck in baseball. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment, like, subscribe. Um, I'm not going to go crazy. Look, we know this is how the Cardinals do business. And, and this doesn't mean that Ali Marmol can't be fired still, but I think it's fair to say he probably he probably won't be. And as I think about it more, and, and again, for the 80th time, I haven't listened and watched the press conference yet. I will. But I understand why John Moselock, in his last two years as the president of baseball operations, he wants some stability in terms of the field manager and the staff, and he's going to go out with his guy. So... That doesn't mean it's going to work, by the way. That does not mean it's going to work. But I understand why Bill DeWitt and John Moselock and Bill DeWitt thinks that John Moselock has earned that in his last couple years before Moselock does whatever he does next. All right. Comment, like, subscribe. Love you guys. Have a great uh, St. Paddy's Day weekend. Be safe. Drink a lot of green beer and all that. And again, drop your comments. What do you think? I'm guessing this is going to be very unpopular. As it should, to be honest with you. I don't think it makes any sense. I don't think it really makes any sense. Not necessary whatsoever. If they have a nice start to the season, couple, three months in, give it to them then. That's my opinion. But again, look, this doesn't mean it's going to work. This doesn't mean it's going to work. This is what the Cardinals did. The Cardinals are a great organization, and they usually do the right thing. Last couple years, I feel like it's fair to say they – They've, they've, they've uh, gone away from that a little bit. I think the trust we had in the Cardinals organization, which forever, everything made sense. Everything made sense. Last couple of years, eh, eh, that doesn't make much sense at all. To me, this one doesn't make any sense. To me, Ali Marmol should have had to prove it in 2024, but we shall see. Look, it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what happens. So there you go. I will shut up now. But uh, don't love the move.
I think he should have had to prove it here in 2024. All right, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, share the video, share the channel. Put it in your group text. Put it on social media. Baseball season's here, baby. Ali Marmol. Two-year extension. Why? Why? Okay. See ya.